Hey everybody, uh, this is, uh, second part of uh, module, this should say module 7.2, uh, is the x-intercepts and zeros of a function. It should go pretty fast until we get to the lesson performance test. So here's our question, how, how are the x-intercepts of a quadratic function and its linear factors related? All right, so we're going to write each function in standard form and determine the x-intercepts and zeros of each function. Okay, so Remember this from last time, you guys, we just set this equal to 0, so x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals negative 1, x minus 3 equals 0 when x equals 3, so the x-intercepts are the same as the zeros, so when we set them equal to 0, we get um, x equals negative 1 and x equals 3 right there, easy enough, right? So when I put it in standard form, we just foil it out and we get um, y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, so first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last, and there's our answer right there. Okay, all right, let's try it with this one. Okay, so here we're going to set this equal to 0, 2x minus 5 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. All right, so uh, when we go plus 5 plus 5, we get 2x equals 5, or x equals 5 halves, and then here we get x equals negative 2. All right, to put it in standard form, we first have to FOIL that out, and then we distribute the negative 3 through at the end right there. So FOIL it out right there, and I get to this quadratic right here, and then distribute the negative 3 through, and we should get uh, that as long as we... Uh, as long as I did it right, I make mistakes all the time, even on these videos, so you guys know me by now. Anyways, all right, let's try this. The cross-sectional shape of an arcway of a bridge in feet is modeled by the function uh, f of x equals 0.5x squared plus 6x, or negative 0.5x squared. So it's a, it's a parabola that opens down because it's negative right there, where x is the distance between the two sides of the arcs right there. All right, so how wide is the arc at the base right there? Okay, we'll just make a graph of that. Well, actually, we'll get the intercepts, you guys. And then will a box truck that's 8 feet wide and 13.5 feet tall fit under the arc? Okay, and if not, what is the maximum height an 8-foot truck uh, wide uh, passing underneath the bridge can be right there? Okay, so... Let's do one at a time. So how wide is the arc? So we're going to write the function in intercept form and then identify the x-intercepts. All right, so when we write this in intercept form, I did it step by step here. So what I did first was is I pulled a negative out. So, so when I pull the negative out, it's going to change this. I pulled a negative 0.5 out, and it's going to change this plus to a negative right there. And imagine if I just distributed this negative back through negative 0.5 times x squared is negative 0.5x squared, and then negative 0.5 times negative 12, well, 0.5 is half, so half of 12 gives us this 6, and then this negative times the negative equals a positive. So you see how we wrote that right there? All right, and then now let's pull an x out of both of these guys. So here we're going to pull that x out right there. Okay, do you see that? And then let's write it as x minus 0 so we can see the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are at 0 and 12 right there. Are you guys with me? Okay, so how wide is it? It is going to be um, uh, 12 feet wide because it goes from 0 to 12 so that that arcway goes uh, uh, 12 feet wide. So well, a box that's 8 feet wide, a box truck, 8 feet wide, 13.5 feet tall fit underneath the arc okay the arch I guess so so find the vertex and make a graph okay so the vertex you guys is going to be if it here's the intercepts at x equals 0 x equals 12 so I have those intercepts right there and it's going to be some arc way now so so if it's going through here then the the vertex is halfway between 0 and 12 which is going to be at that 6 right there. So plug in 6 right there. All right, so I plugged in 6 right there and 6 right there. So half of 6 is 3, and then 6 minus 12 is negative 6. So actually it's negative 3 times negative 6, so that gets me a positive 18, a negative times a negative. So there's the vertex right there, and then we go over over 1, it goes down a half of 1 squared. Over 2, down a half of 2 squared. I went over 3, and then down a half of 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, and then a half of that is 4.5. Just gives me a better shape of my parabola right there, okay? And then, uh, so there's the parabola right there, the upside-down parabola. Okay, now let's go back up here. Will a box truck that is 8 feet wide and 13.5 feet tall fit underneath that? 
okay well here's 13.5 feet tall right there so will an eight foot truck fit underneath that right there well no it won't because eight feet wide there's no way it'll fit underneath that it's it's not wide enough right there so since the upper corners of the box of the truck are higher than the arcway now then the box would not fit to the box truck would not fit underneath the arc right there okay all right so if not what is the maximum height the truck uh, that's eight feet wide that passes under the bridge can be okay well if it's eight feet wide um, then we're going to go ahead and and uh, uh, there it is eight feet wide so the axis of symmetry is at x equals six right there so if we're going to go eight feet wide that means we're going to go four feet that way and four feet that way from x equals six so that's going to take us to um, x equals two and x equals ten because six minus four is two and six plus two is or six plus four gives us ten so that's going to be our eight foot wide span right there so what we're going to do is plug in x equals 2 into f of x right there and that'll give us the height we can plug in x equal 10 also but but since it's symmetrical we'll just plug in x equals 2 right there so let's go ahead and do that um, and then so when we crank that out we get uh, our f of x is going to be 10 feet high right there so the maximum height that a box truck that's eight feet wide is going to be 10 feet um, uh, tall that's how high it can it can be on that all right if you guys are in our class that would be your assignment take care